This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, simplify two-thirds x plus x. Again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator, so you have to be able to work out these questions by hand. For that reason, I recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. Now, this one is generally solved one of two ways, and I'm going to show you both of those ways in this video. The first way is to realize that there's a coefficient of one in front of this x. So in other words, you would read this as two thirds plus one, which is gonna be one and two thirds x. When you look at our answer choices, however, you see that they're written as improper fractions. So the next thing we have to do is convert the mixed number one and two thirds to be an improper fraction. To do that, we do one times three, which is three plus two, which is gonna be five. So this is gonna be five over three X, and the answer is C. Another way to solve this one is by adding the fractions. Again, most people would say there's a coefficient of one in front of this X. So let's disregard the letter variables X for a second. This becomes two thirds plus one. In order to add fractions, they have to have a common or the same denominator. I can write one as a fraction by placing it over one. One divided by one is in fact one. Now, in order to add these two fractions, again, I have to rewrite one or both of them such that they have a common denominator or the same denominator. We have denominators of one and three here. So I'm gonna rewrite one of these such that they have a denominator of three. How do I make a one a three? Well, I multiply it by three and I also have to do that to its numerator. So one, which is the same thing as one over one is the same thing as three over three. Three divided by three is in fact one. Now, when you add fractions, you keep your denominator the same. Then you add your numerators, two plus three is five. Tack back on that letter variable of X and you have your answer. So regardless of how you solve this one, you can see that you have to know the ins and outs of fractions to answer it. Uh, so make sure you can work with fractions prior to test day.